After sealing your fate as a celebrity, the next step is to make money off of your fame. And many celebs turn to the fashion industry to do so, and sometimes they completely miss the mark. Just wait until you see how many Kardashians make the list. New around here? Go ahead and subscribe to The Taco for more great content like this. Now, let's take a look at 10 celebrity fashion brands that got called out. Do you want to be a DIY expert? Check out our friends at Crafty Hackers. They have the best hacks, crafts, and everything DIY. Watch their videos for the best household tricks, DIY decor, and fun recipes. If you love making crafts with your friends or just trying new things, they have everything you're looking for. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome hacks and crafts. Kate Hudson when Kate Hudson co-founded Fabletics, she probably should have gone to another company to do so. Her activewear subscription line has come under fire as well as its parent company, Just Fab. You've probably heard of Just Fab, a shoe subscription service that's been around for over a decade. The problem most customers are having with Kate's company is the fact that they didn't know they were signing up for a subscription service. Instead, they think they are signing up for a VIP membership. Usually, customers don't even know until an unauthorized charge hits their bank account. This is nothing new for the CEOs of Just Fab. Apparently, they have been scamming people out of money since as early as 2004. The major complaints from customers? Not being able to easily cancel their subscriptions. According to the website, you have to call if you want to cancel their service. Of course, actually getting someone on the phone can be somewhat difficult. The company's spokesperson claims the reason for the phone call is because the company can't receive customer information via email, which everyone finds a little hard to believe. All you have to do is search for Fabletics on Twitter to see the customer outrage. Kim Kardashian if you've never heard of Just Fab, that could be because you were a Shoe Dazzle girl. Operating under the same business model, Shoe Dazzle is a monthly shoe subscription service. It was famously started by Kim Kardashian, who eventually sold the company in 2013. But before she could clean her hands of the business, it was hit with some major accusations. In 2012, Star Magazine released an expose documenting the working conditions of the Chinese factories that made shoes for Shoe Dazzle. At the time, Shoe Dazzle had over 3 million million subscribers and 85 suppliers, 75 of which were in China. The magazine found some truly appalling conditions for the workers. In some of the factories, it wasn't uncommon to find women as young as 16 working all hours of the day. Sometimes women were working seven days a week and up to 84 hours in one week. And how much did they get compensated for their time? A mere dollar an hour. To top it off, in one of the busiest factories, temperatures to rise to over 100 degrees. It also wasn't unusual for the workers to live in dormitories in the factories where they paid rent to the company. Even being worked to the bone, most workers took home around $15 a month after living expenses and food were deducted from their pay. Bethany Frankel Bethany Frankel shot to fame thanks to her time on The Real Housewives of New York, but the reality star had a higher calling to be a lifestyle brand mogul. Bethany founded Skinny Girl Cocktails, which happens to be the best-selling brand of low-calorie adult beverages. Since launching the brand in 2011, Bethany reportedly sold it for over $100 million. So, it seems like she should know what she is doing in the business world, right? Well, things are getting a little up in the air for the reality star. In early 2018, Bethany announced she was launching a new clothing line. What did she decide to name it? Skinny Girl Jeans, of course. You can probably figure out why people called her out. In a time when customers are looking for inclusiveness, it seems like Bethany's new clothing brand is a little tone deaf. To be fair, Bethany has made a career from her tight and toned body, but the problem comes from women who are sick of being told they have to be skinny to be desirable. The Skinny Girl mogul insists the brand will include plus sizes, but many fans still feel alienated by the brand's name. Of course, Bethany isn't letting the naysayers get her down and chalks the whole debate up to media sensationalism. Beyonce Back in 2016, Beyonce blessed the world with her clothing line, Ivy Park, that she debuted in Top Shop in Nordstrom. Almost immediately, it was met with controversy. Thankfully, it seems like it may have all been for no reason. Let's start from the beginning. A month after Beyonce dropped her affordable athletic wear line, a British tabloid magazine made accusations. The magazine claimed Ivy Park and Top Shop used Sri Lankan sweatshops to manufacture their clothing. This was something Beyonce was quick to deny. The company the company was founded in hopes to empower and inspire women after all, but after the headlines started spreading, they couldn't be stopped. 
Many fans claim the singer could have avoided the whole situation had she chosen an American manufacturer. She was criticized for choosing an overseas supplier, which are known to have lower working standards. In the end, it was never proven that Ivy Park was in cahoots with shady overseas producers, but the damage had already been done. The one positive to come from the situation is the fact that more people are becoming aware of fast fashion. It's an epidemic sweeping the fashion industry and needs to be stopped. Ivanka Trump since her father was elected president, Ivanka Trump has had a pretty tough time. This mostly has to do with her clothing brand, though we are sure it's not easy to be the daughter of one of the most controversial presidents ever. Sadly, her brand was pulled from stores after a loss in sales and her companies in general have been riddled with controversy, mostly because of the claims of her father who famously wants to make America great again. The problem is, many of Ivanka's suppliers aren't from America, which has many customers and Americans giving her the side eye. In fact, the night her father gave his inaugural speech, a shipment of Ivanka Trump products shipped from China docked in California. Not to mention the fact that many organizations have called Ivanka's shoe brand out for the company's supplier's working conditions. Back in 2017, two investigators went missing when they were investigating conditions at said supplier's factories. What was worse came when Ivanka never commented on the disappearances. This led many to believe Ivanka was simply ignoring the Chinese government's attempt to silence investigators. The company has a long history of working with China and it doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. Kim Kardashian again Considering they have tons of businesses and they lend their faces to a myriad of different brands, it was only a matter of time until the Kardashians would be called out. And to no one's probable surprise, the rest of this list is compiled of Kardashian slash Jenner family members. Let's start with Kim Kardashian again. Yes, she already made the list, but this next infraction is more recent. Kim and Kanye started their own kids' clothing line, Kids Supply. And at the end of 2017, it was making some major headlines. This had to do with the fact that Kim was a accused of stealing high fashion designs. It's not even like she tried to cover it up. What she was doing was taking inspiration from fashion labels geared towards adults and made them into tot-sized versions. When you see the comparisons, it would be hard to deny. Just take a look at Kim K wearing this silver vêtement dress and her daughter in the kid version from her clothing line. She literally has no shame, hence why fashion blogs call her out immediately. But the whole premise of her children's line was to bring these high fashion options to children that would have never had them in the first place. Kourtney Kardashian our next Kardashian to make the list is usually labeled the boring one. She's hilarious, and to be honest, her only vice is having a ridiculous baby daddy. Besides that, Kourtney Kardashian usually does well to stay away from controversy. But that all went out the window after being associated with Pretty Little Thing, which landed her in hot water. The problem didn't come from Kourtney's personal line from the fashion brand. It came when Pretty Little Thing released a shirt that promoted a controversial issue. In late 2017, the brand's website released this vest top. The sleeveless top read, Am I Skinny Yet? Almost as soon as the shirt hit the website, customers took to Twitter to share their grievances. They claimed the top was completely tone deaf as well as promoted eating disorders. Even eating disorder recovery clinics weighed in on the brand's attempt to monetize on such a polarizing issue. The whole thing left many people wondering who would even sign off on the production of this top. Thankfully, Courtney was able to dodge any of the media attention surrounding the controversy. Pretty Little Thing eventually took the shirt off their website and ensured customers they would be more mindful in the future. Kanye West he may not be a blood relative, but the fact that he chose to marry into the family means he's just as crazy as the rest of them. Kanye West has been involved in his fair share of controversies. Do the 2009 VMAs ring a bell? Well, besides stealing trophies from pop stars and making babies with Kim K, Kanye also has a successful clothing line. You may have heard of it. It's called Yeezy for those of you still in the dark. Every year, Kanye pushes the boundaries with his fashion shows, but in 2016, he went a little too far. So much so, he became the laughingstock of the internet and the fashion world. Kanye's season 4 Yeezy Collection fashion show was one for the history books, mostly so that people can learn what not to do. Not only were his models falling all over the runway, one even had to take off her shoes to make it down the catwalk, but they were even falling over on the sidelines. The show was outside on New York's Roosevelt Island, and considering it was the middle of the day in September, things got pretty heated. This could have all possibly been forgiven if Kanye's designs were fabulous. Sadly, according to many fashion bloggers, his season 4 line completely missed the mark and was deemed underwhelming. Ouch. Khloe Kardashian 
leave it to a Kardashian to spark controversy over an Instagram post. That is pretty much what they live for, right? Usually, it comes from one of the Kardashians revealing photos from their private lives. But this controversy started because of Khloe Kardashian's fashion brand. For those of you who may have missed it, Khloe started a fashion brand called The Good American. And just days after the word broke that she was expecting her first baby, Khloe dropped this bombshell. No, it wasn't confirming her pregnancy, though we all know about it now. Instead, it was a questionable photo shoot from Good American. At first glance, you may not see anything wrong with it, or if you are like millions of Instagram users, you immediately saw how Chloe slipped up. To many fans, this image seemed to promote a master-slave relationship. That's because the way the model is kneeled beside the reality star and holding on to her makes it seem like Chloe is her owner. The fact that the model Slick Woods is African-American had many people wondering why she would even pose for such a shoot. Both of the stars were called out on social media, and eventually, Chloe deleted the photo. And that was that. Kylie and Kendall Jenner of course, we wouldn't finish this list without mentioning the major slip-up by the Kardashians' baby sisters, Kylie and Kendall Jenner. The girls were a bit naive to think they would get away with this next controversy. Back in 2017, the sisters released a line of t-shirts for their Kendall plus Kylie brand, and let's just say it didn't end well. The shirts featured popular musical album artwork and faces of icons with the girls' faces superimposed on top. The shirts included images from artists like Tupac, Biggie Smalls, and even Pink Floyd. They had a price tag of $125, which is a whole other story. After the shirts were released on the brand's website, almost immediately, fans of the artists they ripped off called the girls out. And the most shocking revelation of all, the brand didn't have permission to use all the artwork, inducing a collective facepalm from fans and haters alike. Sharon Osbourne, whose husband Ozzy Osbourne was featured on one of the designs, famously called the girls out. Sharon said, Girls, you haven't earned the right to put your face with musical icons, stick to what you know. Lip gloss. Brutal. The girls took her advice and the shirts were pulled and the girls apologized. Which celebrity brand do you think dropped the ball? Tell us what you think in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco. Thanks for watching.